Nimio de Anquin was an Argentine Thomist writer and fascist politician. Seeking to combine European models of fascism with his own attachment to the Catholic Church he led several movements and for a time had a strong following. Subsequently, however, he lost political influence and his later life was mainly focused on his academic career. Early years A native of Córdoba, Argentina, de Anquin studied law at National University of Córdoba. With his studies in Argentina completed he travelled to Germany to study philosophy under Ernst Cassirer. Whilst in Europe he developed his interest in politics and became a follower of the ideas of Charles Moraes after coming into contact with his work. Soon de Anquin sought to develop his own political ideas by seeking to combine Thomism with Hegelianism, leading him to call for a national syndicalist state. <laughs> <laughs> Fascist leader He was a founder of the Instituto San Tomás de Aquino in Córdoba, Argentina in 1929 and this group would become linked to the Argentine Fascist Party. In 1934 he joined the Fascismo Argentino de Córdoba By the following year he had taken over as leader of the group, which by then had changed its name to the Fente de Fuerzas Fascistas in 1935. Various groups then merged in 1936 to emerge as the Union Nacional Fascista under de Anquin's leadership. A strong admirer of Benito Mussolini and Italian fascism, he argued that Argentine nationalismo should follow the Italian model by seeking to mobilize mass support but that the domestic version of fascism should put a stronger emphasis on the centrality of Catholicism to national identity than its European counterparts, however de Anquin found it difficult to lead the fascist movement in the face of opposition. In 1934 he was suspended from his lectureship at the Colegio Nacional de Montserrat, in Córdoba, due to the violence of his movement. The violence continued however until active repression began in late 1936 when he attempted to force university students to sign a letter in support of Francisco Franco. By 1939 the Union Nacional Fascista was effectively moribund. Later years With his movement now defunct de Anquin returned to lecturing, initially in his hometown then later in Santa Fe. He did not abandon politics altogether however and became associated with the journals Sol y Luna and Nueva Politica and, on a more religious note, the group of intellectuals around Marcelo Sánchez Sarando. He also wrote in praise of Adolf Hitler stating in 1941 that by the work of the great Hitler, liberalism and ugly democracy have died." He continued to write on political matters until late in his life, inevitably focusing on his two favored themes of militant nationalism and anti-democracy. <laughs> <laughs> 